Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at AMC Entertainment, ticket symbol AMC. You can see that we are closed at a price, or rather not closed, but we are sitting at a price of $37.99. You know, we are just above this support I give at $37.68 to $31.82. You guys can see the relevance and kind of the importance of this support slash resistant area. You guys can see the price has been staying in this area and it's trying to close above it. Obviously, it's been doing pretty well. In this video, I'm going to cover some of you know um, the news such as the short percentage, such as the um, dark pool percentage, and they're heavily focused on kind of the technical analysis in terms of what I think you know we should be watching out for and why I think AMC has obviously the opportunity you know to still skyrocket because of what's happening right now. So firstly, let's look at um, AMC on Stock on Tracker. And you know, some of the things we obviously have to look at here. And I always go on about this because this shows you know what power um, hedge funds and firms have in order to kind of bring down the price of AMC. So obviously you guys know um, a price could be affected by you know different ways. And one of the ways could be you know just selling the share price, and another way obviously is shorting the share price. And you know how much share there are available to borrow basically means how much shares are available to borrow in order for firms to kind of short this stock. It's five hundred thousand, um, which is not high. It's not you know in comparison. Sometimes what I've covered, we only had a hundred thousand. You know five hundred thousand is obviously higher than that. But there are also times where I covered where it had over probably two million shares to borrow, and so five hundred thousand was sitting at a decent number. You know you can see that. Um, just as today, the available shares is still the same. So it hasn't been looking like there's too much shorting happening um, today. And so overall, we're looking really good. But you know, I want to cover the technical analysis as well. Um, something I do want to talk about before we kind of go more in depth is, you know, um, the short percentage and the dark percentage, the dark pull percentage. Um, you guys can see the short percentage has been decent. You know, we're sitting at, um, on this 21st, it was quite high at 55%. But during the last three trading days, so the 26th, 23rd, and 22, we're looking at 42, 40, pretty much 42 and 40 percent. So you know it's not too high, um, it's not too low. But you know in comparison to obviously what it had beforehand, it's obviously not too high. Um, and so we're not looking at an increase in volume of short percentage. We're looking at a decrease in volume of short percentage. And so you know something that we can correlate that with the AMC price is obviously how we're going to react to a decrease in short percentage you know it this really shows now you know how the buyers can do and we are obviously doing it very well from the market pattern which i'll explain in a second but something that is increasing is a dark pool percentage you know if we look at how um from the last four trading days so from the 21st the short percentage has been decreasing from 55 42 41.9 39.8 but the dark pool percentage has been going up from 67.1 71 71.4 and 71.5 and you know what dark pool um is obviously showing that it that what dark pool is for those of you who don't know is obviously trades that are done um that can't be seen from retail investors and it's it could be in different prices you know it could vary from prices so you know if we obviously buy a stock at 38.11 in a dark pool it could not necessarily be 38.11 it could be a different price and so dark pool um actually is at put retail investors at disadvantage. So the more increase in dark pool, it really just shows the unfairness of you know big firms. But you know from technical analysis right now, it looks like we are doing um, decently well in terms of you know what we should be looking at. So firstly, just right off the bat, so this is the daily time frame. Um, you know if even if we go out into the weekly, you guys can see um, what it's doing, what how AMC is doing well. Obviously, um, we did see you know. The price dropping down in the weekly time frame was to be seen. It's nothing to be worrying about because you know it is perfectly normal. You know, if we look at weekly, when we first had this high being made, we saw it then pull back, and then we saw it make kind of making an, uh, another high here. You could also consider this was kind of a lower high, but you know this was a new kind of being market pattern being made. We then saw, you know, this is how we saw that it was not um, a full market pattern to be made because we then saw. Um, a higher low instead of a lower low and so it doesn't show you know in order for a bearish um, pattern to be made we need to see a lower high but then also a lower low here but we saw a higher low here so it obviously showed that it wasn't um, a bearish pattern and then we saw it obviously making a new high to here and now we're seeing it at you know 
um, another higher low. And so this pullback was to be expected. You know, we had a lot of kind of buying power going all the way up to the price it is at now. And so just for it to settle back is obviously normal. Um, I've explained it in my previous videos on why I think this is normal. And, you know, these are just kind of normal market patterns you will see. And so overall right now, um, we may have discovered where um, kind of the new higher low is. And this is good because we just need the stock to settle. We need to discover where the higher low is. And normally what the higher low shows is, you know, it shows um, where investors are happy for the price to be on now and where they are willing to put more and most and majority of the capital in. And so if it's discovered to be, you know, kind of the 31 to 37 level, then, you know, this level shows that there are going to be a huge of a um, ton of investors. And it really is when, you know, you should be putting your money in. I am not a financial advisor, so do take my opinions with a grain of salt. Um, I'm only giving my opinions. I hope it just, you know, it assists in your own judgment. But please don't make, um, please don't go off what I say and make a judgment of that. Use it as kind of a way to help you and, and assist you um, and maybe get you know, hints of ideas from it. But, you know, if so right now it's looking like we've discovered 31 um, and so the 31.82 to 37.68, this is a rough level. So it's give or take around this level. It seems that we have settled it to be kind of the low right now. You know, it's still to be decided, but you know, so far it's looking good. We are seeing a bit of resistance in selling. So that's why I'm saying we have to wait a bit more. But I think overall, we're looking very nice. If you look down here, we see a 50 MA crossover near the 200 MA. Um, this, the MA crossover, I've mentioned in multiple of my videos. I don't personally trade it, but I know a lot of people do. And if people do trade it, then it does play a relevance when it comes to technical analysis. So that's one thing I do want to state. Um, even in the RSI, we're not above 70, meaning we're not overbought. Um, and so overall, I think that if we can obviously keep being kept above here and the RSI not being overbought, meaning that it's not kind of um, the last draw, it's not a desperate attempt, then it does show that we are sitting you know, quite nicely at um, the new low here, which means that you know once we've settled and kind of everyone um, comes back in, we'll then see kind of the next skyrocket movement going for AMC, obviously wanting to break the level of um, you know this resistance up here. Um, for those of you who are new to my channels and this is your first ever AMC video you see on my channel, this resistance level um, is quite big. That's because there is not too much data being given for the areas above here. So I can't tell you too much in terms of where the exact resistance is. Obviously, the thinner, the more detail, it, the better it is. However, with the data being given, this is the rough estimate of where I think um, you know the resistance is and where we have to break it. But you know, if we come back into the daily time frame, you can see that um, even in the daily time frame, we are seeing a new pattern being made. You guys can see here. This was the low, obviously, you guys can see it, obviously, um, falling, having a bearish momentum, hitting the low, staying in the support. So this is key, staying in the support. I've had this support out for a very long time now, um, even when the price was sitting, you know, even when we're talking about um, AMC, you know, in the 14th of June and such, I had this level. And so this way, guys, go and make sure you stay subscribed so you never miss out on the technical analysis because it may come and become helpful for you. But, you know, AMC right now touching the low. And so this is a lot being made. And what we saw was obviously in um, the short term day, um, day time frame, making a new high. And now we're coming for an, to a higher low. We are, you know, seeing a bearish pattern. So this candle, um, this candle right here, when you see a candle like this in price action, it normally means a reversal. So obviously you saw, just like you see here, this normally means another reversal as well. So this obviously meant the the stop, the, the limit of the new high that it was making. But down here, we also saw a reversal a mini into a buy pattern. So it shows that this was this, um, the end of the low. And right now we're staying above this whole, um, the whole support. And so it looking like we are ready to make another bullish momentum kind of going upwards. So overall, we're looking at kind of um, really nice technical analysis. It's looking quite clean. I think even in the short term, we are going to see it going up potentially to, you know, right now, just giving it, um, just looking at this right now, you guys can obviously see there was a resistance kind of in this level. And um, so, you know, right now it seems like we have enough power to potentially shoot up to that um, level uh, around or say 52 level, which is, you know, it's not, I'm not saying that's what the end of AMC will be, 
but rather this is kind of when you know we need to take it one step at a time and this seems um to be the next step for amc but yeah guys that's it for the video guys hope you guys enjoy if you guys did make sure to press that like and subscribe button down below comment down below what you guys think about amc comment down below what you guys want to see next other than that enjoy your day